Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up this super cool free cam spectator system within UEFM. So here we are in a fresh UEFM project, and we're going to start out by just creating the verse file that we're going to need for this system. So we're going to go open the verse explorer, go into our project, add a new verse file. You can name this whatever you'd like. I'm going to name it free cam spectator system, and we're going to create that as empty. Then in this video's description, you can find a text file that you can just copy all the code and paste into your verse file. So just open your project in VS Code, go into your file you just created, control all, paste it in there, save. Then you can just close out of that, you're not gonna need that anymore. You're gonna then want to build your verse code, so just go verse, build verse, and just let it load for a second. Then open up your content drawer and you should see a free cam spectator device has appeared. And you can just go ahead and drag that out into the world and leave that be for now. The next thing we're going to do is set up our camera that we're going to use. It's not a device that we're going to want. It's a primitive camera. So you can go to uh, place actors up here at this little square, go to cinematic and then cinema ca camera actor. And just click that. That will place down a camera here for you. From there, we're now going to need a creative prop. It can be literally anything. Uh, I'm going to use a coffee cup because it is pretty small and won't be in the way too much. I'm going to rename it to be something intuitive, camera parent prop, something like that. Then you can go back into your camera, right click attach to, and you're going to want to find that camera parent prop. So I just, you can search it or just should be quick. And then it might ask you if you want to choose a socket or a bone, just go ahead and click no. There you go, your camera is now attached. and Something you want to do is make sure your camera's position is zeroed out. So just set all three of those to zero. That way the camera is now perfectly set up to be aligned with the coffee cup. Another thing you'll probably want to do is hide the coffee cup in game. So make sure you select on there, search hidden, actor hidden in game, and just check that off. Perfect. The camera is all set up. So the next thing we're going to want is a cinematic sequence. So again, your content drawer in your project, just go ahead, right click, level sequence, and name this something intuitive, free cam sequence. Double click, open it up. Uh, first thing you want to do here, add, add actor track, and you want to add your camera. You can search it if you want. Sin camera actor, just add that in. Something very important here is to make sure you delete the transform component that is, uh, comes with it. Otherwise, the camera won't be able to move during the sequence. So go ahead, delete that, save, and you can close that. Now that the camera and sequence are all set up, the next thing we're going to need is some devices. So open up your content drawer, go through Fortnite, devices, and we're going to need a cinematic sequence device. So drag one of those out. And you're going to want to set the sequence to be the sequence we just created. You're going to want to check off loop playback, set the visibility to instigator only, and that's all you'll need for that one. You're now going to need six input trigger devices. We're going to do these one by one because they are somewhat important in their settings. For the first one, just place it down and then make sure you have registered player behaviors set to require registered. That'll make it so the camera inputs aren't collected when the camera's not on your player. And the first one you're going to want to set to make sure the input type is creative input action. Then the creative input, set that to uh, left slash right. And then set your axis direction to be negative. This is going to be your left input trigger. Uh, we're going to need some more. So duplicate this. You can hold Alt and drag it out. That'll duplicate it. Set your axis direction to be positive. This will change it to uh, handle your right movement. And then go ahead and duplicate that one more time. Set this to forward slash back. This will now be your forward input for your device. Go ahead, drag that out one more time. Set this one to be negative, and this will now be your backwards movement. So you're gonna need two more of these. Drag one more out. This one you're gonna change the input type to standard action, and then set the standard input to sprint. So this will be your sprinting action. One more time. This one set to jump. That will be how your player will exit the spectator system. And lastly, you will just need a button device. So that can just be default settings, doesn't matter too much, just place it down. And great, now that we have all of those, we can attach them into our verse device. 
And then you're just gonna go down the list, select these as they appear. So cinematic, it's just gonna be your cinematic sequence. Your prop will be the parent prop. So in this case, the coffee cup. Our enter camera button is just the button we placed. Our left input is going to be the first trigger we placed. Our right, the second. Our forward, the third. The backward, our fourth. Leave camera is actually the space, so that will be the last one we placed. And then sprint will be the fifth one that we placed. And the base speed and sprint multiplier are some options you can change if you'd like to have different effects or movement speeds on your camera. I'll go ahead and save that. And then that should be it. We're gonna launch a session here and make sure everything is working. All right, so just head over to the button. And there you have it. Free cam. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below.